Gabby, how can I travel as a U.S. citizen and go visit Nigeria? I've heard this question a million times, but don't worry, I'm back safe and sound from Nigeria, and I'm getting ready to answer every single one of you guys' questions. Let's get it. been finding my social media you have been emailing me you have been messaging me on Instagram you have left me so many questions on my videos here on YouTube and you know what you guys I am super 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 excited that so many of you are interested to go visit Nigeria because it's one of the most beautiful countries I've ever visited in my lifetime. It is not even comparable of what people have left and told me about Nigeria. So I am extremely blessed that I was able to go and visit on my own, you guys, to see exactly what it was like for myself. The best decision I ever could have made for myself. But as you guys can tell by the title, I am here to answer all of you questions that you guys have left me. I'm super excited to answer these questions for y'all. Let's jump right into these questions, you guys. Now, your girl already has two other videos out explaining how to get your Nigerian visa. So you guys, do not forget to go check those two videos out because I go in detail exactly step by step how to get your Nigerian visa to travel to Nigeria. So these questions that I'm answering are the questions that you guys have came left under my videos, came to my Instagram, emailed me, and I figured what better way to make a general video so that more, there's probably more people that's gonna come behind this video and want to know the same thing. So I was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to make a general video. So let me bring out my handy dandy notepad in my iPhone, you guys, and let me start answering some of you guys' questions. Okay, so the first question is, what kind of visa do you need to apply to get to Nigeria? So I am going to answer these questions based off experience, you guys. And for me, I apply for a tourism visa. That is the type of visa that I apply to, okay? Next question. Do you need an invitation letter to visit Nigeria? And the answer is no, you do not. At this time that at that time that I had applied and went to my visa appointment, you guys, I actually had bought a letter of invitation and he looked at it. But now they have some type of updated new rules where you don't need to bring an invitation letter. So that is actually good for you. So no invitation letter, you guys. The next question is. When you go to your appointment, will you need to provide your booking itinerary? And the answer is yes, you will definitely have to provide your booking itinerary, you guys. It needs to be presented. You have to have it. So that's the answer for that. The next one is when you go to your visa appointment, will you need to provide a bank statement? And this is definitely, you guys, I actually have stars beside of this question because a lot of people repeatedly kept asking me this. And yes, you will definitely need to bring your bank statement with you, you guys. Just make sure that whenever you're going, it's the most current one. So if you're going in July, just make sure that you bring a current July statement. Make sure on the statement, I have your current updated address, your name, um, and your personal information. Just make sure that all your personal information matches all the other, other information that you're going to have with you. So, um, let's see. How much should I give myself, how much time should I give myself before booking my flight and waiting for my appointment for my visa? You guys, I got this question asked so many times. 
so, 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 so many times. And you guys, you know what? What I did was I applied first. So what I did was I did the application first. And then after the application, I booked my visa appointment. Um, and then after my visa appointment, once I seen the date that I'm going to get, I then book my flight. But I book my flight two months after my visa appointment. So you guys, you definitely, definitely want to give yourself enough time. Give yourself enough time to let the um, to let them do what it is that they need to do so that they can return your visa back to you, you guys. You don't want to be rushing. Don't, don't start this process. Do not start this process to rush. Take your time. Allow them to do what it is that they need to do, to stamp, to go through the processes, and to send you your visa back in the mail. So to me, I gave myself two months, two months before my trip, after I booked my visa appointment. So I hope that helps somebody. It says, do you need the health declaration form to travel to Nigeria? And the question is, because I get, I, this is another question that a lot of people ask me, you guys. And the question is, yes, you need the health declaration form, you guys. Let me tell you something. There were people that was getting turned away because they did not have the health declaration form. And it's a form that it has a QR code on it that they will need to scan. So you will definitely need to fill out the health declaration form, you guys. It is mandatory. You cannot even get on the plane. You will not even be able to get in Nigeria without it. So it is definitely necessary. Um, it says, can I post the link to the visa application? Absolutely, you guys. I got this question asked a lot. You guys swore me for this. <laughs> you came for me <laughs> in this. Um, and I will absolutely post it down in the description too. And also too, I'll have it somewhere on the screen. It's oisservices.com. Oisservices.com. And I'll also have it down low too in the description box for you guys. The next question is, is the application difficult to apply for? You guys, it is not difficult for you to apply for. There was a little teeny bump in the road that I needed to go through, which was at some point of the application, they asked you to upload your um, passport photo, okay? And they give you the certain pixels that they want you to upload the picture in. And it's just go to Photoshop. That is what I went to. I went to Photoshop um, and that will be able to help you. You take the measurements of the pixels they ask you for, put it in Photoshop and then take that and go back to the application, upload it and you should be fine. So there you go. That's the answer for that. And the next question it says, is it expected to get your fingerprints at your visa appointment? Absolutely, you guys, it is mandatory, okay? It is going to be mandatory that you get your fingerprints. I have read from one of my comments in the video, I said that they didn't have to do that at first, but absolutely, when I went, they got my fingerprints, so you will have to do it as well. So the next question says, what's the right address to show up to for your visa appointment? And people were asking me about this question, you guys, because there was a video that I had made already on my channel where I was talking about how I showed up to the wrong address and I wasn't able to give you guys the right address, but this time I will definitely have it below in the description. And this only goes for if you're going to the DC location. Because I remember kept asking people, are you going to Atlanta location or are you going to DC location? So it's only for DC location, okay? I don't want no confusion. So I will put that down in the description below. It says, how much money should you bring with you for the trip? You guys, it's going to be different for every single person. I'm just gonna be honest. It's going to be different for every single person. For me, I stayed for two weeks and my budget was $2,500 to $3,000 and that was enough for me. I was comfortable, I didn't struggle for anything, I was fine. So based off of how much money you need to bring will basically be based off how long you're gonna stay and all the things like that. But $2,500 to $3,000 for two weeks for me was fine. The next question says, do you have to schedule a visa appointment? So the answer is no, you guys. You don't have to schedule it. It's not necessary.
necessary, but because I was traveling from one state to another, I just wanted to go ahead and book my appointment and get it out of the way. They do have walk-ins. I think they charge like $50 for a walk-in appointment, but you know, you can do that at your own. If you want to walk in, that's fine. And if you want to schedule an appointment, that is fine too as well. It says, does it have to be a round trip ticket you have to present at your visa appointment? Yes, you guys, you have to present a round trip ticket. It has to be a round trip ticket. It has to be a round trip ticket. It cannot be one way or one way there, one way back. It needs to be round trip. So the next one says, should you pay for your application fee before booking your visa appointment? So my answer to this, you guys, is you must pay your application fee regardless first. The application fee is $160. And then after you apply for your application fee, you must go and book your visa appointment. So that is in that order exactly. So you must pay your application fee first. Um, it says, what is a data page? You guys, I got this question asked so much. Like, I think this was the most question that people asked me the most. And you know I got you, you know I got you. So I'm gonna show you what the data page is. Of course, I will have to cover my personal information, but I want to answer this question because so many people ask me this question. What is the data page in my previous videos already where I was explaining step by step what you need to do. Um, people were kind of confused with the data pages. So let me show you um, really quickly. So this is your passport, okay? You're gonna open up your passport and when you open up your password, passport, you see this? This is the first page. This is going to be the second page. Your data page is going to be the second page in your passport and right here, is all your personal information. All your personal information. That is everything, every, every single thing, your personal information. So this is called your data page, you guys. This is called your data page. It's the second page in your passport and this is exactly what you would need to upload when you get ready to apply. So that is pretty much all the questions, you guys. I do want to tell you guys I had a ball. I didn't want to leave. I had the best time of my life. I will give you a heads up though, when you travel to Nigeria, you guys, just make sure that um, you are prepared to be bombarded. When you get there, everyone's gonna be asking you, can I help you take your bags? Can I help you do this? Can I help you do that? Um, I had seen previous videos where people were like, you know, they're kind of um, forceful. You know, they, they, they don't give you an option to say no. And indeed, that was the truth. So if you are going to travel, just make sure that you are kind of prepared for that. But other than that, you guys, I didn't have a problem. My flight was, 14 hours, um, it wasn't too, 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 too bad. And when I got there, you guys, it was all worth it. It was all worth it. So I'm hoping that this video will help you guys. I do have two other videos where I go into details, you guys, about how to exactly getting your Nigerian visa, you guys. So I'm hoping that me answering these questions for you guys will help you. You guys know I love you. Until the next video, your girl is back safely and sound from Nigeria. And I will see you guys on the next one.